Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Saturday, and I have Bridgie here. Thinky Bridgie, she needs a bath. <laughs> but um, so many of you ask me about her whenever I can. Oh gosh, that's, I think that's her nervous yawn. And Will is playing Toy Story 3 on the Xbox in the background. So anyway, just our normal Saturday. But I had a few things that I wanted to tell you about. Um, one, I took that sweatshirt back yesterday to Oliver and exchanged it. I do think those sleeves were neat on that, and I think, I mean, it would look great, but I would not wear it as much because it would take away the kind of like sweatshirt comfy aspect of it because you know they would be longer, and I just wouldn't want to wear it around the house and stuff. So, um, I'm going to go put her down, and then um, okay. I'll be right so back. Okay, so one thing, I had several things that I just wanted to tell you about and show you. Um, one is Donna from... Canada, you know, she is the, I think it was the Beat, she is a DJ there, and she sent me that lovely gift package that had the Lee Swatier things in it, and I had never tried the foundation from Lee Swatier's, the Tint Lift, um, it's Anti-Wrinkle Firming Moisturizing Foundation, and last night, I, before I got in the shower, you know, I love to try new things, I put this on, and I really liked it, so today, I have this on, and I know it's um, the lighting is probably not the best, but I'll see how it goes. Um, because w in the U.S., we can order Lee Swatche things from Naimi's. It's N-A-I-M-I-E-S dot com. And um, this color just happened to match perfectly. It's just neuter, so neutral. And um, so I'll report back to you and see how this goes. Of course, I put my Laura Mercier over it, but I used this as a base. And the coverage was beautiful. Some of you might, it would, might would be enough. I just... I don't know, I can never stop with that. Just Laura Mercier always makes things better to me. Then this is a Urban Decay shadow I got. It was one of those times that I had some, see for my birthday month I had, I think you get double points. And then at, and the, then time, at the time I already I had, I think, triple points from their coupon. So I really racked up a lot of points last month. But the color is Free Love and I just opened it and used it today for the first time. Actually, I used it yesterday I put it, I had used handwritten, I believe, in the crease, and I put this above that to just give it a little bit of, I don't know, I always like to end with kind of a lighter, warm, warmer color, and, um, but it is a beautiful coppery, pinky type color. It's what I've got on my lids today, and then I put the YSL Brown out of that duo. I'll put everything I use down at the bottom, but I put that in the crease. But this would have been fine on its own. It's just you know how it is. Once you get started, sometimes you just think, oh, I'll put a little bit more, a little bit more. And I just always think it looks better to put a little bit something darker in the crease, especially with aging eyelids like mine. But it is a really pretty color. And I think that you would get a lot of use of it if you just wanted an all over pretty color, especially if you have blue eyes. And um, it wasn't, it just had a good texture and a good color. And I think it's in one of those new palettes. Free Love is the um, name of it. So it might be in one of those little palettes. Anyway, I loved it. And then this is something that Brooke and I picked up last Sunday when we were there. I forgot it's to show you. It's a new smoked yep. eyeliner palette. And it's got all of these little minis. It's got a purple one. Let's see, the purple one is Empire, it's got zero. The one I used on my lower lash line today is this bronzy one, and I loved it. It's called Smog, um, it's got Oozy, and then this one I haven't used yet, it's kind of like a teal blue kind of color. Um, let's see, what is the name of this? Mainline, and then Demolition is the brown. And my little friend, uh, Olivia there is the one that showed it to me. I say little friend. She is, she's much younger. She's in her, I think she's 20, early 20s. And she's the one that told me about it. But what's neat is a lot of these colors are matte. They're and dark and they're matte. Tell you and that, about? Oh, I was going to show you this lipstick. I went and got it yesterday. No, not yesterday. I got it the day that I did the video, my Friday video, but... I went okay, to Dillard's that to day, again. Chanel off of my wicker chair, which is destroyed. I'll probably take a picture of this chair and show it to you. And I will say Bridget used to chew on it too. But, um, so I've pretty much already written it off. But this is the color I was telling you about. Um, it's number 253, Brilliance. Um, it's the Dior Addict. 
Oh, let's see. And the color is Basic, which is so weird for Dior because they always have fancy names, but the literally the color is Basic. And it is so pretty. I have it on today with that Natural Beige Lip Liner. And here it is. It's just gorgeous. I don't know if it'll really show. So glossy. Um, but it's just a light pink. It's really, really pretty. And I've got it, like I said, I've got it on today with that lip liner. And um, I just think a lot of you would like it. So just if you're out there, just stop by and look at it. It might be something exactly like... What keeps it to me from being exactly like something that we have is it's glossier, it's still got the pink color, it's still sheer, but it's got the perfect amount of pink. I just think it's beautiful and it looks really good with that lip liner. And as soon as I get the sparkling beige, I'll try it with that too. So, I'll show you this sweatshirt that I got when I exchanged it. Oh, one more thing. Hey, um, this off the other day when I went to Dillard's, the first day, they had a bunch of their shoes on sale, a bunch of them that I bought at full price, like the Steve Madden's that were tan with the fluorescent pink strap and a stuff, a bunch of stuff like that. But I didn't get a bunch to sell on my website because the shipping is just so high on shoes that it just, I would have to charge so much. But I saw these when I was there that day and they were marked down to $30, which is nothing, but they were still, you're not gonna like them. <laughs> Only a few people will get the look I'm going for. And, um, but I went back the other day because they were an extra 40% off for everybody, not just those that had the Dillard's card. And um, so I got them and they were only $20. And the main thing I'm telling you this for is to go look at the shoes on sale. I, I don't think you're going to want these. But they are BCBG generation and they are just white patent pumps. And I am totally just channeling the... Sex in the City carry with these. I don't know if you remember several scenes that she would wear these with like boyfriend jeans and a sweatshirt and stuff like that. And I would wear these today if we were not going to, we're going to go to the mall and I'll get something different to eat and just do a little bit of shopping and stuff. And I know these won't be comfortable, but for $20, I just think they're awesome. And um, it's kind of like they're terrifically tacky. <laughs> but anyway, so I would totally wear these with a pair of boyfriend jeans and a sweatshirt. And um, I just wanted to tell you, just in case, you might like them or you might like some of the other shoes that were on sale. And um, I brought this out when I put the other stuff up. This is the duo I was talking about that I just really like. And it's the YSL, um, I'm not sure what, okay, number 29. And this color right here is the one that I have in the crease with that Free Love. And just then the NYX um, Sahara as a highlight and I just love it. And that even that little lavender color is beautiful. Like if you wanted to put that on the lid, it's just a really, really good duo. I love these shadows. And I'll be right okay, back with so an outfit today video. I'm wearing this Wild Fox sweatshirt that I exchanged the other one for and I love it. I love the blue color and these sweatshirts are just, if you ever, I know Nordstrom Rack carries them and you can get them cheaper on eBay. have planned that any better. Hello Chanel, how are you? Would you like to climb up my chair? <laughs> anyway, so I really encourage you just to, if you can get one on sale or something, try them. They're the best ever. And um, this is a small. They run a little bit big. And then these are the jeans that I showed you guys. The Rockstar Skinnies from Old Navy and I love them. And this is the ones that were kind of like a, a white or an off-white. And even though I think those little pointy toe pumps would look better, I just put on these, which are my Stuart Weitzman Boldly. And I just cannot tell you how much I have enjoyed these shoes. I guess it's obvious as much as I've worn them. But even my friend Justine at Monkey's, we were talking about the other day, and she said she had just worn hers out. And uh, they're just go-to shoes. So if you get a chance to get these, Please get them. They are so comfortable and they go with everything. Here in my blue and Balenciaga uh, Classic City with the rose gold and I love it. I just okay, love for accessories bags. I have on these little gold and rhinestone earrings that Rhonda got me from Nordstrom and I love them. I think they're just perfect for an outfit like this and I've just really been into studs lately. And along those lines, along with my Jenny Bird Hear Me Roar ring, which is one of my favorites and I think it's perfect for this kind of outfit. They contacted me 
last night and I am going to get some more of her new stuff and I kind of am just going to get some of the things that I like. There's some plenty of other good stuff, but the main thing that I was so excited about is the little, where well, they redid the coin pendant, which is one of my favorites, the Dionysus or Dionysus coin pendant. They have that again, but they have the little stud coin earrings to go with it in silver and gold. So I'm going to get those on my website and also, oh, a bracelet with the little coins all the way around it and um, the Hear Me Roar ring. Um, they've got a ram ring that is adjustable that's big like this. I don't like it as much as the Hear Me Roar and oh, some enamel jewelry that I'm going to get rings and earrings to match so i was excited to hear from them um so i think everything's kind of picking up for christmas and i'm getting excited again i'm gonna try to get back into it um so i hope you guys have a wonderful saturday the movie was great yesterday it was what was the name of that movie hotel transylvania, hotel transylvania and it was really funny what was your favorite part brooke He likes his backpack? He was like, um, he was like, okay, well, a lot of my personal belongings. Oh, yeah. And then he kept on talking. He's like, all right. Like, yeah. The little cool. guy that um, goes to the hotel is so funny. He's really cute. And, um, hey, Will, what was your favorite part of Hotel Transylvania? When the middleman pulled the torts and, and Frankenstein freaked out. Oh, when he had the torch and Frankenstein freaked out. No, he like he does, he forgot how to scare something after the show. Oh yeah, out. yeah, yeah. Frankenstein had forgotten yeah, they pulled out a scary and so. <laughs> and then the zinc. Oh yeah, and then the zing. So anyway, it was a really cute movie. John and I both liked it, so that will be a good one to go see this weekend. We all have a good day, and I will see you real soon. Bye bye.